What up though YouTube, this is your boy Simply J.O. And I just want to get some like, real simple housekeeping out of the way and it refers to my first ever YouTube short. Now, that was my first time making a short. I was being, you know, I don't know, too perfect I guess. It was uh, a long process for about 30 to 60 seconds worth of work. So shout out to everybody that's been doing this YouTube thing for a very long time. It is a little bit more difficult than it looks, but also it's quite fun. Um, but anyway, if you did see my first short or if you didn't, we're going to look at it right now because I want to see if you can uh, point out um, one of the mistakes I made. So let me go ahead and set this up for you guys. All right. As you can see there, here's my first short. So let me mute my mic so you can just tone in, tone in to this short. What up though, YouTube? It's your boy, Simply J.O. I'm starting my YouTube channel with my YouTube short series, Simply 60 Seconds of Game. Tonight's thought or topic is my golden rule, which is master yourself and the rest is easy. Once this short gets up to 500 likes, I'll go into more detail on the topic. Until then, peace, and may the next day of your life be infinitely greater than the day that preceded it. Okay, what'd you guys think, right? I mean, I thought it was okay for my first one. Um, but this is the thing, right? The mistake that I made was asking for something before I delivered something. That's not how this YouTube space works, I believe, um, from what I've witnessed. Um, I think once you get up to a certain stature, then you're allowed or, uh, I guess, or, you know, yeah, allowed for the back of, lack of better terms to do such a thing. But me being a noob, a rookie into this YouTube game, that's not something I can do. So my apologies for that. Now that we got that um, bad housekeeping out of the way, let's focus on the message for today, which is to go over the golden rule, which is to master yourself and the rest is easy. Now, um, there's no, no issue with, you know, my golden rule, I don't think. And, you know, for those of you that are religious, you might go by different universal golden rule, which is to do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Now, to me, that's not a bad golden rule. Um, I think it's actually great. But as I matured in my person and my understanding, this is what I found. That unless you know what doing unto others really means, how can you live by that golden rule? Because a golden rule is something that basically governs your life. Um, and if you don't have that skill mastered, then how would you govern your life accordingly, right? And so that's why I changed my golden rule to be master yourself and the rest is easy. Now, there's um, some certain things that go into that. For example, what is mastery? Well, according to Malcolm Gladwell's book in The Outliers, 10,000 hours is required to master any skill. And then from that point on, um, you need to maintain that skill, right? And um, I looked at that and I was like, okay, cool. No problem with that. But there's also another outlying tangible factor that is needed. See, when you're born, you're not an adult, you're a child, so you're being raised. So really your mastery your practice only depends and it's directly dependent on the teacher that you have at that moment. And let's be quite honest and frank about a lot of things. Sometimes we always didn't have the best teachers, you know? And so with that being said, it is important that you take stock of your life, go back to one of your founding rules that govern your life, if you have that, and question it. See if it's still applicable to your current lifestyle, the current direction you want to take your life in. And if it is, cool. If it's not, that's where you have the point to change it and that's what you should do. So for those of you that may have not thought about this before or are trying to go in a different direction in your life, 
may I lend my rule to you, my golden rule. Again, master yourself and the rest is easy. Now, it may sound simple, but understand that mastery is going to come in different aspects of your life over time. So, for instance, you may have to master patience. You may have to master kindness. You may have to master truth. You may have to master discipline. You may have to master consistency. But you see, as you acquire those skills and you work on them for those 10,000 hours or whatever you need, because let's be frank, 10,000 hours, is, let's call it like an average, right? You know, there are some people that are more gifted than others and they can master things quicker because of their aptitude or aptitude, I think. Aptitude, you're probably going to kill me in the comments for that, but you know what I'm trying to say, your internal intelligence. And you may grasp something, grasp something quicker than someone else. But then again, it also depends on the teacher teaching you, right? So you can be a savant at mastering consistency. And then you can be a totally, a total idiot at mastering work ethic. To, totally not the same things because the work ethic depends on the amount of work that you put into something, right? And so that's really what I want to communicate, that you have to really identify your starting pillar, your starting position and build out from that. So basically, I, I saw this once and I saw this and it applies a couple different ways, right? Um, I had a pastor, my old pat, one of my old pastors, and I'm not going to make this a religious, religious thing, but the, the, uh, application or the, the message he was trying to teach applies. Okay. And it was basically this, he stood up in front of the congregation, he held up a blank white sheet of paper and he put a dot on it. Okay. And he said this, you know, he asked people to shout out what they thought this meant. And people were trying to go too deep and say, oh, you know, it's a picture, it's this, it's that, it's the other thing. What he was trying to really communicate was that everything starts with a point and a destination, right? So when you're born, your life is started, you have a teacher. Usually your, your first teacher is your mother or your parent or whoever. Um, and from there on, you go on to become this person with your own personality and your own things in the... In a perfect world, your parent guides you and teaches you to the best of their ability, all these things. But even then, they can fall short. So, again, if you go back to that general golden rule that everybody, if you're a religious person, follows, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. There's going to be some inconsistencies and some fallacies there, and that's fine. But as you mature into your adult person, it is your responsibility to kind of examine that. And either solidify, double down on what you were taught, or say, hey, you know, what I taught was okay and it was good, but there's something better that I can do. Because that's what I did, right? Um, and for me to switch my thought process over from the general golden rule of do unto others as you would have them do unto you, to my golden rule, which is master yourself and the rest is easy, I had to look at, you know, and identify the issues I was having in my life at the time. One was consistency. One was, another was work ethic. Um, um, another one was self-confidence and things like that. And then one that I really had trouble with over um, years in my younger years was public speaking, right? And so I, I, took thought, I took stock of all of those things. And I said, okay, how can I make myself better? And I said, well, in order for me to make myself better, I'm going to have to up my skill points in all of these areas. And once I do that, then my whole person becomes better. Right. So then I said, you know what? If I master myself, the rest will be easy. And as you master a new skill, whatever it is, as you master things, things become easier for you. And as things become easier for you, your life improves. Right. Right. Certain things that pushed your button, don't push that button anymore. It's a really great space to live in, to be at peace, right? To know that, hey, I have so much confidence in myself. It's not nothing that you can pretty much say to me that's going to really 
change my mind on something, right? Not saying that I can't learn and I'm above learning. That's not it. But I understand that every teacher isn't a good teacher, right? And so that's, you know, what I wanted to lend to the space tonight. Now, again, when you're out mastering yourself so your life can become easier, what you have to take in stock is, what you have to identify is, if whatever it is that you want to improve, you have to identify a teacher in that skill. So, for instance, if you wanted to advance your thought process, right? Maybe you ask somebody who you like the way that they think. Now, for me, in that arena, um, I was encouraged to read a lot of philosophy books. And so that's what I did because philosophy really expands your thought. It challenges you to it challenges you to think outside the norm. And we'll go into that in a later video, but it just challenges your thought process, right? So, you know, um, I think that's going to be it for tonight. I don't want to make it too long and stuff like that because I'm going to come out with this, a lot of these videos like that just to try to help um, any man or any woman, you know, that is struggling to understand themselves or get to the next level or to just develop a more or develop and be more in tune with themselves. Right. Um, and I think it's from what I've seen in the space, it can be very cool on YouTube and YouTube land. And I can see some stuff that I'm just like, man, that is just not good. You have a social responsibility to help people. Right. Nobody wants to be misled because, again, if that golden rule applies to do one to others that you would have them as you would have them do one to you, then you shouldn't knowingly mislead people. Right. But again, if you didn't master yourself and master knowing what truth is and what right and the difference between right and wrong is, how could you ever expect to live up to that original golden rule? Now you see the problem with it? Yeah, I did too. So again, I just want to lend you my golden rule. If you agree with me or if you don't, that's cool. But if you do, feel free to use it and learn and go from there. And I'm interested to see where your journey takes you. Just remember, master yourself and the rest is easy. And with that, I'm going to end this video. And, um, you know, until we meet again, I hope the next day of your life is, is, is infinitely greater and more impactful than the day that preceded it. Peace.